Today, we're back for day four of our travels in Turkey. Sun is rising and we're about to take off. For this episode, we'll wake up at the crack of dawn to do an epic hot air balloon ride in Cappadocia. Time to jump off. We'll dine on home-cooked Turkish cuisine in a building that's over 475 years old. Carbs are good for you. Then, we'll do another magical photo shoot at one of the original stops on the Silk Road. And wait till the end to see the final stylized reel of our photo shoots in Cappadocia. My name is Mark, and I'm a television producer who's traveled the world, shooting content mainly in unscripted television. But I'm a massive camera gearhead and just love shooting. Especially with new technology, like drones and 360 cameras. Got the ball blown here. Getting filled with hot air. It's gonna take about 10 minutes. And then our journey will begin. This is exciting. For our second day in Cappadocia, we're embarking on an unforgettable journey by going on a hot air balloon ride. Sun is rising and we're about to take off. This is gonna be an amazing adventure. Oh yes. We booked our ride with Royal Balloon. The package included pickup and transport from our hotel in Urga, a light breakfast, the actual balloon ride itself, along with a glass of champagne, then travel back to our hotel. The cost was $197 a person. Okay, very nice. I am your pilot today. There are two important. First one, always stay in the basket, okay? There is no jump, no jumping. <laughs> oh damn, here we go. Yavaş yavaş. For photographers who visit this region, a hot air balloon ride is a great way to capture the magic of Cappadocia's landscape. The towering ferry chimneys and rugged rock formations create an otherworldly panorama that feels both ancient and timeless. This is absolutely gorgeous. You could see the entirety of Cappadocia from this balloon. You can see all the valleys. It's the perfect time of the day to do this. And from these hot air balloons, you can capture amazing vistas of the region's iconic hot air balloons with the perfect morning light as they drift gracefully across the sky. It's like we're headed to Love Valley. Love Valley in Cappadocia is named for its distinctive rock formations, which have become a symbol of fertility and evoke imagery associated with love and passion. The valley is bathed in soft hues of beige and pink, which shift with the light, casting beautiful shadows and highlighting the texture of the rock surfaces. Just about time to land. Hopefully we do not hit the ground. Time to jump off. Just kidding. Oh, it's amazing how these balloon pilots can actually land directly on the trail. Today, best flight. This Ooh. is the weather. This is perfect. This is best flight. Looks like we lucked out. It was the best conditions for the flights, and we actually got to see all the valleys. And here comes the balloon. Check, check, geliyor! It is coming! Run, 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 run! Chasna Kruf! Very good! This was definitely a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Just observing the entirety of Cappadocia, 500 meters up in the sky, was Incredible, we got to see the Love Valley, Rose Valley, uh, Red Valley, just everything. It was not as packed as I thought it was going to be. There were only 16 people, uh, whereas the majority of the other balloons have 30 people. So, yeah, it was great. Hot chicken. Yes. Okay, come on, come this way. Before, this is thank you very much, our crew. Yes. Safe and best landing and thank for champagne. You. Also, thank you. One, two, three. Yes! <laughs> ah, you are professional. Thank you. This is for you. Oh, yes. Here we go. All right. Cheers, Cheers to you all. Cheers. Nice way to start the morning. Some champagne. And as a bonus, the crew presented each of us with a souvenir. All right. What's that? 
Um, we're hot air balloon pilots now. Just kidding. <laughs> Let's take a break to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Artlist. Artlist is your all-in-one platform for sound effects, music, B-roll footage, and now AI voiceover. AI voiceover is the ultimate voiceover tool for video creators. Once you have your voiceover script written, just type it in the box, choose your voice, then hit generate. With just a few clicks, your voiceover is ready, and it sounds amazing. Don't miss our next episode where we return to Istanbul. That sounds pretty dope, but say you don't like that voiceover and you want to just switch the voice. All you got to do is pick another one from the library and there you go. Don't miss our next episode where we return to Istanbul. It's on. You can also customize that voice so it sounds perfect to get the exact voiceover you need, including emotional range, similarity to the original voice and style boost. This rare phenomenon happens every 200 years. Incredible. Artlist has exclusive voices voiced by professional actors. These voiceovers are also covered by the Artlist license. Subscribers to Artlist Max already have AI voiceover included in their plan with no additional cost. Other subscribers can upgrade to an Artlist Max plan and not only get voiceovers, you can get music, sound effects, footage, templates, and plugins. And if you use my affiliate link, Anyone who purchases an Artlist subscription gets an additional two months free. Artlist, your one-stop shop for music, sound effects, templates, plugins, and now AI voiceovers. Generate, listen, and download. After that balloon ride, we decided to stop by another landmark in Urga that was just alongside the road. So we're here in Cappadocia, looking at the three beauties. I guess these things have been around for a while. It's a very famous tourist attraction, but it overlooks the whole town of Urgup. The legend of the three beauties takes its name from a tragic love story of a Cappadocian princess and her peasant lover who had an illegitimate baby. Her father, the king, would not accept them. So realizing they could never be together, she prayed to God, waiting for a miracle to stay together, and her wish came true. The three of them turned to stone, immortalized into the three beauties. Ooh, I like the green one. Okay. So I love magnets, tourist magnets whenever I travel. Whenever I would go places when I was younger, I would get one for my mother and bring them back home, put it on the fridge and have a memory. So Cappadocia is a very popular tourist destination. Luckily, we're here at the second week of November, so there's not as many people here. Plus, the weather is nice and chill. It's about 67 degrees right now, not too bad. At night, it gets down to 37, 38 though, which is pretty freezing. But anyway, let's go get some food. So we're here in Dibek. It's a restaurant here in Goreme, and it's one of the older buildings. It's actually 475 years old. And the original floor down here used to be a stable for horses. And Dibek is actually a traditional container for mixing meat, tomatoes, and spices. And very curious to see how this all tastes. But if you take a look, you can see all the little side dishes. You got the appetizer plate, which is 300 Turkish Lira, which is about maybe $17, $15 or so. Um, it looks absolutely delicious. So let's take a taste of this little appetizer plate. Mm. We'll grab some bread here. It's always a lot of bread, which is fine. Carbs are good for you. So dip it into some of this hummus here. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Roasted peppers. Do you need help? Gappy, it's apricot juice. And it is very on the money when you want 
to refresh yourself after all this traveling around doing tourist stuff. Oh yeah, looks like our main dish is coming. Thank you. This is the saktuva, which is beef with tomatoes and roasted peppers. It's kind of grilled, a little bit of rice, and uh, looks delicious. Let's take a taste. Let me get some of this beef here. The tomatoes. Mm. The beef is so tender. You can taste that little tomato flavor with the roasted peppers. Oh, this is kind of like bibimbap. So the good thing about turkey here is even though it looks like a massive amount of food, the portion sizes are actually small compared to America. Similar to a lot of Korean cuisine, you get all these little side dishes, kind of like the Korean panchan, and it helps to complement the main dish. The total price for the meal was 560 Turkish lira, which is about 30 US dollars. As we walked out, we could also see the dining areas that were converted from horse stables in this 475 year old building. This place is cool, let's go check out the upstairs. Right above Dibek, there's another restaurant called the Roof Lounge, which has a patio with a great view of the city of Garim. After lunch, we walked out and just across the road was one of the first establishments in Gareme and one of the historical spots in the Silk Road. So we're here at the beautiful Gallery Ekman in Gareme and I'm here with Solomon. Hello guys, how are you? How is it going? Welcome to our shop. So what's the history? I heard this is like, this is an original stop yeah. from the Silk Road. Yes, right. So this is around 450 years old one caravansaray. So people before, uh, they do the trading which is, I'm talking about the 17th, 18th centuries. They bought from the perfumes and the spices from China. And they come to the Turkey and they pass to Turkey to the Europe. So the, in Turkey, there is a lot of caravansarays. This is, which is the, means pension, like hotels. So this is the, which is cameling area. People put the camels over here and the rooms is people stay for accommodation. Oh. So they stayed here for Ottoman time for free and uh, on the nights and then after they move to the another uh, caravansaray. So that's why this place is very famous and the oldest built in Gorame in Cappadocia. Oh nice, so the camels will be here? Yes, this is camel soup here. Oh. I'm the last generation about uh, this family and uh, my grandfather turned to this caravansaray to carpet shop. Last 80 years we are selling carpet over yeah. here and last 8 years we are selling the photos yeah. in here. It's quite famous now on Instagram and social media as well. And uh, we appreciate it, then accept our guests anytime. So I've actually filmed on other cities on the Silk Road. The first one was Xi'an, which is I believe the beginning of the Silk Road. And I think it goes all the way from China and can end up here in Cappadocia. In 2018, I directed an international model competition in Xi'an, China, where 50 models from all around the world competed for a chance to launch their model career. Xi'an was one of the coolest places to shoot in China. Because of its historical significance of being the original capital of China and the start of the Silk Road. During my project, I got all access to film in all of the ancient historical sites, like the Terracotta Warriors, and directed the filming of the final runway show that took place on the ancient city wall. So when we came to Cappadocia, I knew we had to visit another iconic location in the Silk Road, the Gallery Ickman. So now we are chasing sunset. Heard of this place called Artemis Cave Suites. Let's check it out. The town of Goreme has a ton of boutique hotels within walking distance from the center of town. A lot of these hotels have picturesque terraces with restaurants open to the public where you can view the hot air balloons at sunrise or catch a sunset with a couple cocktails. We hit up Artemis Cave Suites, a popular cave hotel on Instagram. 
It has an amazing view of the town and it's a perfect place to do a photo shoot. We're here at the top of the Goreme viewpoint. We're taking a look at the landscape. It looks absolutely gorgeous. A little bit of a hike to get up here, but definitely worth it. Cappadocia does not disappoint. Hello. Hello. The last meal here in Cappadocia, we're at Cappadocia Kebab Dazi. We got ourselves some roasted lamb, and of course, all is gonna have that freshly baked bread. And we got the shepherd salad. It's got freshly cut tomatoes, nice and diced. You also have cucumbers, which is my favorite vegetable. And of course, you should squeeze some of that fresh lemon. And there's also Cappadocia's version of salsa. Not exactly what it is, but it sounds good. And it sounds like there's a testy kebab getting knocked open behind me. Oh yeah, someone's in for a good surprise. And John. All right, here we got the lamb chops happening. Delicious, delicious. That looks absolutely juicy and delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Got some roasted peppers here, onions, a little salad, some garlic. And these fresh and juicy little lamb chops grizzling from the grill. Let's take a taste. Oh yeah. Definitely juicy, definitely tender. I highly recommend it. So here at Kebab Zade, they hand make all their stuff. They make these little pides, the Turkish pizza. They also roast these peppers. They take them, put them in this little clay dish, and then throw it in. Comes out spectacular. As soon as the pitas come out, they are steaming, piping hot. You take a look, they take this little knife, chop it up in little bite-sized pieces, take it up to the front, add a little bit of lemon to accompany it, and then he's on his way. Looking good. So everything is fresh from the kitchen, and. Oh, looks like a Turkish delight. Might as well take a taste. I accidentally took two. Over in that powdered sugar. A little gelatinous texture. Oh yes. Papadokia Kebab Zadeh. Definitely walking distance to all the cave hotels here in Gurema. If you're walking around, spot Cappadocia Kebab Zadeh. Hard to miss. Outside in the front, we're roasting things up. It's two stories, fully lit up. I say, if you're in Goreme, you might as well check it out. Thank you, thank you. Gotta like Cappadocia Kebab Zare. And that concludes our second day in Cappadocia and our fourth day in Turkey. From dawn to dusk, Cappadocia has captivated our hearts with its ethereal beauty and boundless charm. There's so much to do, and its amazing visuals are the perfect backdrop for any content creator. This extraordinary place is filled with wonder and adventure. You've got to stop by Cappadocia, or you're missing out. Don't miss our next episode, where we return to Istanbul and check out the Instagram-famous Balat neighborhood. We also stay at the newest autograph hotel in the city, the Burdak Hotel. And we end the trip with a shopping spree at the world-famous Rand Bazaar.